Hello and welcome back to Love Advice TV. This is the premier YouTube channel for all things pertaining to breakups and healthy relationships. So if you're coming out of a breakup and you want real concrete tips, tools and advice to help you turn things around, please subscribe to our channel and like my videos to fuel my fire so that we can continue to do more videos for you. The topic of today's video is one that is very dear to my heart. And unfortunately, I have to deal with these cases more and more every week. And this is breakups that are due to religious differences. People break up because they have fundamental religious or cultural differences and families oftentimes put pressure on them on, on, on the ex to uh, break up with you because they feel that you don't share similar values or aspirations. And it is heartbreaking because, in my opinion, religious religions were created to unite humanity, to unite people, to unite communities, to unite couples and families. And it's really a travesty when I see good, solid relationships that are being basically torn apart because of fundamental religious differences. The truth of the matter is that all religions preach the same message. And it's a message of love, a message of compassion, a message of becoming your higher, better self and of serving humanity. No matter what spiritual path or religion you turn towards, my humble understanding is that it is meant to help people become better, more open-minded. And so when I see good people all over the world breaking up because parents are putting pressure on their significant other or because they don't pray the same way or, you know, live out their faith in the same way, it's very, very sad. And the last thing that you want to do is to make it an obsession to try to prove that you are worthy or to basically turn your back to your faith or your cultural heritage and values just to try to fit in. You won't if you do that. You have to be respectful. You cannot prove them right. Your in-laws or your ex's relationship or your ex's parents and family members, I'm sorry. You cannot prove them right by basically turning into a bitter, resentful person. You have to take the high road and to basically live out your faith in action, to continue to nurture good, solid relationship with your ex, to prove to them that you can be compassionate and trustworthy and that they can depend on you, and to keep basically a framework of communication to rebuild a bridge there so that your significant other can realize that you are good for them, that you make them better. And in cases where your ex cuts all ties with you and um, is building up walls and barriers, don't bang your head against the wall. Give them the space that they need. Continue to move forward with your life. Continue to stay true to your values. And from time to time, check in on them to let them know that you're not bitter, that you're not resentful, that you can and will be there for them when they are ready, that you don't hold it against them. Make sure that you differentiate them from their families, that you don't just bundle all of them together and act out of spite or act bitter. Focus on the things that have united the two of you to begin with. Because fundamentally, they knew that there was a difference in culture or religion when you guys started to date and they still chose to be with you. Even if they felt it was short term, even if they felt that they weren't going to ultimately marry you, they fell in love with you. They saw that light in you. They saw the, the divine in you. And you can remind them of that light, of that beautiful person that you are by focusing on your strength, focusing on the, commonal, the commonalities and the bonds that you share and by living out your faith in action and showing them that you guys are more similar than you are different. And it's my passion. I love, 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 love this topic as you can see. And I would love to be able to work with you too. It's not gonna be easy. It's not a short-term 
quick fix because we're dealing with fundamental beliefs and preconceived ideas, but it can be done. I've seen it time and time and time again. I come from a multicultural, pluri religious background and family, and I see the beauty in being able to overcome certain veils and barriers. And I've seen how strongly a, a family and a community can be once you're able to break through those stereotypes. And I would like to pass this knowledge along to you. So wherever you are around the world, I've coached people that have faced this issue in Asia, in North America, in Europe, reach out to me. Let's work hand in hand. Let's do this. And let's make the world a better place as a result. So this is Coach Adrian speaking to you from the heart. This is Love Advice TV. Leave your thoughts, questions, comments, concerned in the comment section of this video. This is a safe space. No one will judge you. And if they judge you, I will make sure that they don't judge you ever, ever again. Not on this channel anyway. And reach out. Let's work together. Let's make it happen. You, my friend, are fighting the good fight. So keep fighting the good fight. Take good care and see you soon.